The closing day of the 151st State Fair is winding down at the fairgrounds in Pueblo, and the weather was a big challenge for organizers, visitors, and vendors. Cardio News Channel 13's Scott Harrison shows us the resilience with another special year of the State Fair. What may be the biggest challenge of the last day of this year's State Fair in Pueblo is trying to keep cool and getting out of the heat. Fortunately, there are several ways to do that. There are several indoor spaces that are air conditioned. People can go there. You can also step over here to this tent that is blowing out mist, cool jets of water. Feels good, sounds good, that keeps you cool. And then back over there, you can see people are sitting in the shade. So there are many ways to cool off on a day that's in the 90s here. And then you can get back to enjoying the event. There also was a nice breeze blowing to provide some relief. But more than 200 vendor owners were sweating earlier, scrambling to get ready for the gates to open at 11. One of those vendors is a first timer from Louisiana. And we love the mountains and the cool weather compared to the heat, for sure. Although the heat's going to be here today. Oh, yes. Yeah, but it's a different type of heat. Y'all don't have humidity. We do. Another first time visitor was a Colorado Springs family who decided you can't truly beat late summer heat in Pueblo. So they came anyway. We are actually newcomers to Colorado Springs, so we had done the Minnesota State Fair before, and so we're kind of doing a little bit of a comparison to see if it's anything like where we came from. The State Fair's general manager is in his sixth year of the job and says he's glad that the heat, along with a few days of rain, didn't cool down ticket sales. We know that the fair is going to be up from last year, so if nobody comes in, we're going to be up. So the question is, how close are we going to get to half a million people? The GM says that a new five-acre plaza that opened last year and a future planned expansion of the Animal Pavilion should bring even more people to the fair and offer venues that could be used year-round. Fair organizers say that they've already been working on next year's fair for two months now, and they already have some big announcements coming up as to some of the entertainment for next year. As soon as we find out, we'll pass it along. At the Colorado State Fairgrounds in Pueblo, Scott Harrison, KRDO News Channel 13.